a boat has entered the canal and while being held in position by the automated guide arms, its profile has been read from the barcode on the hull. It has also determined the height of the water, allowing it to drop the forks to the correct level it has to be to fit between the outboards without touching them. While this is going on, the system has used the profile information to adjust its position and the width of the forks to be correct to fit under the hull between the outboard motors. Having done this, it starts raising the boat to the point where it can start moving backwards towards the pressure wash area, where it rotates a full 360 degrees, washing the hull outboards with recycled fresh water. The boat is now rotated 180 degrees and the forks rise to level 2 in Bay C, where it proceeds to move the boat into its storage rack. As a demonstration, it picks up the boat again, moves it back into the aisle, rotates it 90 degrees, moves forward and lowers it into the canal. Having done this, it moves forward in order to pick up a boat from the aisle next door. As a demonstration, it moves back to the boat it previously put into the canal and, after picking it up, demonstrates how it rotates and moves from the main aisle back into the transition aisle. It also shows the overhead girder beam moving up and down the aisle with vertical stacking arm and allows the fork mechanism to insert the boat back into its storage rack. The movements of the arms give some idea of the function the system can perform. The system can handle about 10 boat movements per hour, putting boats in the water and about six recovery movements, the difference being the time it takes to wash down the hulls on each removal. Damage between boats during movements is virtually eliminated due to the motion and location detection system that is built into the moving parts. The system will be built by cone cranes. Given the fire department will not enter a warehouse with a boat fire due to the danger of flaming parts falling off, the risk of damage to other boats is extremely high, as is the risk of losing the entire warehouse. The alarm system is on call to immediately close all doors and air inlets, allowing the nitrogen to quickly drop the percentage of oxygen. The video will show in an abbreviated time a fire starting on a rack on the second or third level with damaging smoke quickly moving to adjacent boats and to those above it. It will show the fire being extinguished in a few seconds, but in real life within four to six minutes of starting by using a nitrogen gas submersion system. The neutral gas arrives under pressure through ducts throughout the warehouse but it's directed by duct dampers to direct the nitrogen gas immediately into the area around and above the fire. This quickly reduces the oxygen content of the air to less than 12%, the threshold of combustion. In the meantime, the crane system moves to pick up the damaged boat and drop it in the water. The entry door is open to allow the fire department access to the damaged boat to prevent any resurrection of the fire. The nitrogen system requires the use of sophisticated fire alarm systems with smoke, heat, and CO2 detectors adjacent to the potential fire development areas of all boats. The nitrogen gas will be stored at pressure in a container outside the warehouse. 
Using nitrogen for firefighting far surpasses the effectiveness of a water sprinkler system with its speed at stopping further heat and fire damage. The system will be designed and installed by Kitty Fire Systems.